What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Boston, and I'm back with another video, man. Today, we got a compilation of She Belongs to the Streets. Number one. Best of compilations is the channel, I'm assuming. We're gonna get straight to it. 13 minute video. Now, now what, what you say? I ain't, I ain't gonna show your face. What you say you did? I wasn't in college, but the other dudes were in college, and it was 20 of them in the room, and they were all from the Bahamas, from the same location. And I fucked every last one of them. You all you saw. 20 dudes? Yes. All and you saw. Time? Yeah, at one time, I swear to God. Okay, so so did you nut like a lot of time or did it was like it was? I was dudes. on my back, I was on my knees, I was standing okay. up, and then I had some sitting down, and I was bouncing my ass like while my back was turned. I rolled, you know, got on top, bounced up and down. Uh, it was all the ass smacking around. It was one ugly ass dude that tried to come in, and he thought that he was because he got butt ass naked. And I said, skirt, 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 get out. Oh, you drew the line at the ugly nigga. Okay. Out the room. You cannot be in here. No, but everybody else cool. Boy, that nigga's like, that's why you throw your car while you in it. New documentary. And guess, what, and guess what the thing is? Yeah, My pussy that. is. A lot of people got some. Her pussy, what? What she was trying to say? Mm -mm. Nah, I feel bad, bro. What 20 niggas was standing in the line to fuck one? That's insane, bro. Don't be that nigga. About the fact that I got six kids with six different men. So I'm just going to tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude, I get 34% of his income, which is only six eighty a month. If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17% from each one of them, which is 340 a month from each one. $340 a month times six baby daddies is $2,040. So why don't you have six baby daddies? I started my day off. We're not stupid like you. Well, I can't have that, but I hope y'all ain't stupid as hell. What the fuck? I hope she's not serious. That couldn't be serious. With some Starbucks, I got the strawberry refresher and a bacon, egg, and cheese Gouda. It's my absolute fave. Then I went grocery shopping. I just grabbed a few things to last like two days. I'll probably go grocery shopping again tomorrow. When I got home, I grabbed some wine and I headed over to my workspace. I'm working on this project and it's turning out really, really great. So I'm really excited. My friend came over and we actually switched phones and like matched for each other on BLK. So that was really, really fun. Um, I let my cats in. I love them so much. This one right here is my oldest and that one is my youngest. I then prepped dinner. My man said that he wanted pasta tonight and while he was at work, I went on a date. The restaurant was really, really nice. Great conversation and the food was delicious. So I really did have a nice time. When I got back home, I finished up that pasta that I was working on earlier. It was really, really good. Um, and I served it to him for dinner. We watched a movie and then we went to sleep. Who the fuck she went on a date with? Well, here's an interesting story. So last night, I went to this swingers club in Atlanta and like dead ass, like this shit's like no other shit. Like it's dead ass a club that you go and fuck in. Like literally you go in the club, have drinks. There's just a bunch of dudes walking around in towels and you can literally just go in a room and go fuck anybody. Like and you fuck somebody then strangers and go fuck. Like, you fucked them, huh? It's crazy. And I went with my boyfriend and my girlfriend and they let me get slayed. Dead ass. Shit's crazy. Hey bitch! You had me thinking that she It's a different world we live in, bro. I was talking to this one nigga the other day. He was like, yeah, I be going on cruises all the time. Apparently, if you go on a cruise and you see anybody with upside down pineapples on their chest or like on their shirt or attire, I mean, they swingers. The swinging community, man, I don't know. They, 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 they different. She went out to a club for the first time with her man. She like, you know what? They let me get racks to buy some swingers man what the fuck he found out he is not the father of his daughter after seven years it was my baby for seven years and i feel like you're making jokes about this whole situation when this is serious 
I'm so hurt right now. I can't believe you would do this to me. I was there when she lost her first tooth. I helped her with her homework. Oh, he's shaking. We spent so much time together, and you still lying on his phone? When a DNA test came back and said I am not the father? I can't believe you would do something like this to me. All right. All right. You know something? You know something? You wrong. You so wrong for misleading me like that for all these years. I'm so hurt right now. But it's cool. You want to take everything as a joke? Karma is going to come back to you. What are you doing? I'm recording. That's so sad, I bro. I see that. I, pray, I, don't, I don't pray that on nobody, bro. Y'all seen what happened with Wiggins, bro. And then what's worse about that is that he... He got publicly humiliated, bro. Because I just learned today. I don't know if this is 100% correct, but some dude was telling me the reason why he was out for so long, you know, with Andrew Wiggins for the Golden State, the reason he was out so long was because his mans. All right, so he got a girl, and his girl got pregnant with his mans. Two kids. Had two kids on him. He's he's thinking it's his kids, but it's really his mans' kids. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to get back, bro. I wouldn't. Bro, I don't trust the soul now. I couldn't imagine what the fuck. He out there hooping on straight aggression. I, I couldn't I couldn't fathom, bro. Two kids, but my mans? And if it could happen to Wiggins, bro, a nigga making millions in the NBA hooping, it can happen to anybody, bro. I just, bro, that shit just hurt my soul, bro. Two kids on you and with your mans. And she would have took it to the grave, bro. Had you not found out. That's 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 what really gets to you, bruh. Had had you not found out, bruh, you would have went your whole life. You'd have been on your deathbed and probably would have never found out. Ain't that 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 that's what really irks me, bruh. That's what really irks me. And that's why I can't trust Dan Soul, bro. <laughs> bro. Houston. But think about it, bro. <laughs> she got the DNA results in her hand talking about she ain't cheap. <coughs> Bing. Hey, serious question though. I don't mean to keep pausing, but serious question though, because I was talking to this uh old head the other day. When he was telling me about the Andrew Wiggins situation. Let's say you got a three, four-year-old, you know what I'm saying? He don't make, watch the, or him take his first or her his first steps, his first steps. You know what I'm saying? You don't put all this money into your kid. You don't put all this love into your kid. You find out it's not yours after year four. What do you, what, what is your next move? Are you abandoning the child or are you staying in the child's life that's not yours? That is, and, and it, it sucks that you even have to make that decision because it should, you should never have to experience that. But what I don't get is either decision that you make, either decision you make, you should be respected for it because you shouldn't have never been put in that situation in the first place. I don't think you a bad person if you decide to not be in that per, in that child's life no more, if that's what you please. Because it was you should have never been put in that position. You should have been in another position, but you got put in that position. Now you fucked. So, I don't know. What would y'all do, though? I'm not going to say what I would do. I honestly think it depends on if you have kids or if you don't have kids already. Well, then again, in that situation, you might not have had a kid. You might have just got that. You might have thought that was your kid. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I would do, honestly. Talking about her sucking another nigga dick ain't going to make me leave. Huh? I love that sweet, good mild motherfucker. Do you hear me? I'm not going nowhere. That outside talk don't bother me. I'm right here with her. When she go on the H-E-B, I'm right there with you, boo. What he talking about? You go on the Walmart, get some girls, I'm right there with you, boo. Holding hands. I don't give a fuck who dick she suck. Yeah, I seen the video of her sucking on the dick. Okay, y'all seen it to me. See, y'all know it with me. My dick ain't that motherfucking big. I got a one-inch dick. You know what I'm saying? If that's what she wanted, that's what she wanted. But she coming home to me. She coming home to me. So all that, you stupid, you you motherfucking right, I'm stupid. Take an orgasm for 10 seconds. Shut that shit off. Where we going? My place. Where do you live? <laughs> what do you want to do in your place? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you still recording. You just tell my ears, tell my ears. We fucking. Are we fucking? Remember y'all boys, medium easy pussy. It's a, it's a setup. You, you seen what happened to the nigga at Orange Crush, bro. You don't want that to happen to you, bro. Beware, it's, it's never supposed to be like that. 13, your brother died in 2014. Okay, so for a year and a half, you're with another man, correct? Correct. 
Not for a full year and a half because Basically, there was months and months you, in between there I didn't but you do did, anything. But you did fuck him, correct? Correct, but not... Did you fuck no, him? You asked me that question How many already. times? What do you mean how many times? How many times? times? All together? 30, 40? Oh my God. Okay. Fuck. And, <laughs> but it wasn't in 2014. Okay, on. And then after my father died, how many times? Six, seven? You asked me that question already. Thank you. I come home two days early to this, bro. Dirty bitch. All in a drawer. My goddamn daddy died. Are you still fucking this nigga? Oh my god. We get married in two weeks. We get married in two weeks. Bro, they're everywhere, though. Babe, where you at? You at home? Where? where? I'm, I'm at home right now, bro. Bro, what's this in your drawer? Where are you at home? What's, what's, this, what's this in your drawer? What's in my drawer? Bro, quit playing me like you. Bro, I'm not stupid, bro. What's up? What, what, what are we doing? Why are you popping up straight early? Like, why are you home? Bro, what you mean popping up? I live here, bro. We get married in two weeks. What you mean popping up? Saturday, so why are you? It don't matter when I'm supposed to get off, bro. I'm oh my god, bro. You, bro, you, I'm about to go crazy. I couldn't do it, bro. I don't have it in me, bro. I'm not arguing, bro. I'm not arguing. You dead ass wrong. You on the phone talking about something. Why am I at the crib? Like we not gonna get married in two weeks. Like I just couldn't do it, bro. I would have been home the phone, took my shit, and get up out of it. First of all, I would have never took my shit and got up out of it. I would have took your shit, and tossed it, tossed that shit out the crib because I live in this motherfucker. You feel me? I'm not gonna go nowhere. That is insane, bro. I couldn't deal with you being, like, you are dead ass wrong. Like, I'm a nigga that I'll admit I'm wrong. My fault. I apologize. But when you catch somebody in a lie, red handed, and they trying to, you can hear them try to, like, get themselves out that situation by, you know what I'm saying, deflecting and, uh, you know what I'm saying, trying to change the stuff. Like, no, bro, we not going to do that. Like, I'm not even going to argue with you. Once, once you, you, you get that one time, once I hear you do that, you know, you defer it one time, I right, bet. Say this. I'm really about to go crazy right now, bro. Where you at? I'm about to call you back. Hold on. Bro, bro quit playing with me, bro. I swear to God, bro. Hang up. If she got on dirty white Air Forces, she belongs to the streets. If she got some damn long ass eyelashes, she belongs to the streets. If she got long nails and a rat, she belongs to the streets. Last but not least, if she got on some white Fila disruptors, future. Where does she belong? She belongs to the street. I ain't seen Fila's in a minute. I remember that shit, that shit ran a muck in the community. And for her birthday, she gets these balloons. She belongs to the streets. If she wears black harachis. She belongs to the streets. Last but not least, if she wears these big ass earrings. Future, where does she belong? She belongs to the streets. Nobody wears harachis no more. If I see you with harachis on your feet now in 2023, I ain't gonna lie. I would believe it. You are for the streets because... That's not a, I don't see that on nobody. She wears Birkenstocks. She belongs to the streets. Uh, if she has a pop socket. She belongs to the streets. Okay. If she has LED lights in her room and it's on red. She belongs to the streets. If she has an iPhone 6 and the screen's cracked. She belongs to the streets. That's so specific, bro. IPhone you six. are not the father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, appreciate, I really appreciate you. Thank you. He's not the father, Mr. Brown. Okay. I was like to say, I apologize. I apologize. I, I accept your apology. We love, we love the uh, the apologetic, you know what I'm saying, how, how, how you apologize. I was trying to sound smart as fuck right there. Hey, Demeanor. Brown. You're welcome, Your Honor. Jerome? I'm ready for the next envelope, please. Next envelope. What about, wait, what next envelope? This next envelope. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of McKinney versus Brown, when it comes to 11 month old Amira Brown, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Brown, you are not the My God. 
Do you know how insane that is? That's why I feel like, bro, I don't care if you've been with that woman forever, bro. Get a, you ha It should be mandatory that you get a DNA test, bro. You just never know. How the fuck she got two niggas? She brought two niggas to court. They probably called off work and need and nail one of them the father. Who you been fucking? Who you been? I would be scared, bro. Two niggas in court in here supposedly to be the child's father. And we both not. So who else been nothing in you? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'd be scared. I'd be like, bro, I got to go to the clinic. <laughs> who else is raw dog in this? My God. <laughs> <laughs> watching a man spend his money oh, like so recently bad. i was at the strip club and watching a man spend his money even on other women turns me on you know what i mean it's just let me let me give you the backstory on her first of all she bad let me give it to her she got a nigga who owned a club i don't know if this is now but this is when she was on kevin samuel's show she had a nigga who owns a club they not together they just friends i'm sure he's fucked i don't i don't she i don't know i don't remember what she said she he did or didn't but they just friends is what she claims him as. And she he put her in a loft. Right? He's he's paying the rent for this loft. Five thousand a month. A loft is expensive. I don't know what city it was in, but he's paying five thousand a month every month for her to live in it. Free of charge on her end. She says she's not doing anything for it. They just friends. That's how you know you got. I don't know. You got something that nobody else got, bro. <laughs> five thousand a month. I don't care how much I'm making. Five bands a month on a friend to live somewhere. I don't know, man. Something's fishy about that. That's how you know it. some girls they got potential, bro. Like it makes me feel like wow, like you're a boss. I think you need therapy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just serious. Like you have to. Why do I need therapy for getting what I want just for living? Okay. If you're a woman who could get turned on by a guy for other reasons, and then you also get turned on by a guy spending money on you, I guess I could understand. But when you say you only get turned on by a guy who's throwing money at you, I mean... I mean, that, that, that's like the first thing. And then, you know, then I'm curious now. Who, like, oh, okay, you're hot. Big dick energy. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I don't like it. As a nigga, bro, if you throwing money and she's only, you know, saying fuck with you because you throwing the money, you should realize, bro, like... Let me stop throwing this money and see if she fucked me. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. You should think. Yeah. I was telling to my boy Khalil the other day, bro, you niggas really be fucking up the economy, bro. Because look, now this nigga spending five bands a month on her to live in a loft as a friend. She not going to expect no nothing lower than that, bro. <laughs> to get in that pussy now, bro, or to even get close to it, you got to spend some brief. And I'm sorry, bro. Like, I couldn't do it. Smash the like button. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. They all belong to the streets. I, I know I'm wasting my time. I, I know I ain't crossing the line. I, I know it's push gonna shove when shit the fan. You gon' stand on the dime. I, I don't, don't so much why I don't post. Ain't nine and I'm always gonna ghost. Go, go. If I'm chicken, you fake like so. I'm hot like fire. Come close my rope. I know you bitch. I know you a op.